I'm going to take you through my process for selecting tickers pre-market, executing a trade, and then closing a trade. Stay tuned and watch me trade live. Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Bo with Ready, Set, Grow. On this channel, my goal is to share tips to help you on your financial and trading journey. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below saying you subscribed for a chance to enter our next giveaway. Also check the description for some valuable resources. During pre-market, I will run a five dot squeeze scan to identify tickers that are in a squeeze. I run this scan on the weekly and the daily, and I use this information to determine what tickers I'm going to be interested in for the day. I just ran it on the weekly, and I have a snapshot of the information that I'm looking for, and I look at this information here before I go and I confirm it on the chart. From this scan, I can already identify that AVGO is a ticker I'm interested in. It has a 13 dot squeeze on the weekly. It has a daily squeeze. It already fired long and these are the histogram colors so it's already bullish and all the EMAs are stacked. So in two seconds I can already identify tickers that I'm interested in. When I am done going through the scan results I then go through my watch list to identify possible tickers to trade as well. I have multiple watch lists so I go through each one. So this is my semiconductor watch list and I look and see what meets the criteria and I look for the items to have alignment, to be in a squeeze, to have stacked EMAs, to have uh, the proper color histogram. For example, I wouldn't look at TXN because the EMAs aren't stacked and the histogram colors are mixed. So I wouldn't even look at this ticker. Now that I have completed going through all nine of my different watch lists and multiple custom scans, I have now compiled a list of stocks to keep an eye on for the day. These six tickers I selected from my scan results and my multiple watch list columns, and these are what I'm going to keep an eye on today. I go ahead and post them in my Discord server so that all the members know what I'm going to keep an eye out for. Then I wait for the market to open. If any of these fire, I consider taking a position. If they don't fire and they're still in a squeeze and everything still holds the structure holds, then I consider taking a position. Sometimes the pre-market data doesn't hold at open and I end up not trading anything on the watch list. The market has just opened so now I am running scans on all the time frames to see what has fired. After I run scans to see what fired, I run several histogram scans to also identify tickers to trade. These custom scans can be found on my website. I just took a trade on a Facebook because it fired long on the daily time frame. The EMAs were stacked positive. The histogram and TTM wave were both positive and I identified this ticker by using one of my scans. I am green by 2% for now. As you can see, my Facebook is moving up. This is actually a real trade in my real account. People always ask me that. I simply exit when I'm satisfied with my gains. I am placing a sell order for my two Facebook contracts just so that I can go ahead and secure some profits. Another ticker I like is Roku. It fired long on the weekly and the daily. So I'm going to look to get filled on this position because it's so expensive and the spreads are wide. I'm not looking to get too many contracts. So let's see if I can get filled for $16.80. I put in $17 because I think the price has moved since I looked and I am filled on Roku. It immediately went negative because the spread is wide. As you can see, my Roku contract already jumped up. I'm up about 4% and I just got this contract. This is my real account with my real money. And there's Roku going. When I'm satisfied with my gains, I will go ahead from here and enter a sell order. Roku is actually moving really well. As I mentioned in my previous videos, you can trade as soon as the squeeze fires and you can trade while it's in a squeeze. I do both and the examples today were trades that I took because they just fired. This is how I make decent profits every day. As you can see, if the contracts are too expensive, I don't get that many. If they're cheap, then I'll get 10, sometimes 50. It just depends. I'm going to go ahead and set a closing order for Roku because I'm satisfied with these profits here. I'm going to see if I can close at $19. And you see my order was filled and I'm actually out of Roku at $406. So I've already made over $500 on just two trades, both trades that I alerted in my chat. As you can see, these are the two plays I just took. And these are the plays that I alerted in my chat. Both were successful trades. And that is all for me today. I look for one to two trades per day and then I'm done trading. 
If you are interested in any of the custom scans that I use, they are posted on my website under the shop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.